Yeah, so because of coronavirus, we don't have interviews for residency this year in person. Oh. So it's all on Zoom. So a lot of the programs all over the country are like making videos to like sort of sell their program. So okay. um, you're witnessing an interview right now. Awesome. <laughs> My name is uh, Kenneth Moore. I'm a six-year resident here in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. I'm originally from a small town called Mawequa, Illinois. Uh, well, I went to medical school at Indiana uh, University in Indianapolis. And uh, so uh, during residency, I developed a interest in uh, cerebrovascular and endovascular neurosurgery, and I'll be uh, completing a fellowship here in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, half in full as a PGY-7 and staying on as a PGY-8 to complete the fellowship. Luckily, Kenny's a great guy. I've been blessed to have him as a co-resident. Hi, I'm Vince Wynn, PGY-6. I'm from San Jose, California. Uh, I went to medical school at Temple in the Northeast in Philadelphia, and then came down here for an interview. Really liked it. Came back for a second look, and it was history after that. My name's David Wallace, PGY-1. So I grew up in Nashville. Uh, went to college at the University of Alabama. I took a year off after college to go uh, travel, work on my Spanish. I fell in love with Memphis. Uh, got to know the residency program really well during my time in med school. I kind of fell in love early and, and knew I wanted to stay here. Uh, my name is Sean Hemel. Um, I'm a first year resident here in Memphis. I'm from Madison, Mississippi. Um, I, met, I ended up in Memphis because uh, I love the resident mentality here and the opportunities that come with uh, you know, being a resident here, you get early opportunities to operate, and it's a really great place. Uh, obviously, it's pretty beautiful. We have a beautiful sunset here out on the river. Um, I just love it here. My name is Amal Lesha. I'm a PGY1. Uh, I'm originally from Albania, which is a small country in Southeast Europe. I moved to Boston when I was 19. I started college there at UMass Boston. I went to uh, medical school at Tufts Medical, which is in Boston. And then I heard about Memphis. Uh, uh, <laughs> and the great neurosurgery program and I decided to check it out as a Sabai. I came here, um, I love the place, I love the weather. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a guy that prefers the warm weather. My name is Deke Blum, I'm a PGY2 here in Memphis. So there's four uh, people total in my class. It's kind of, you know, you, I think you have a special relationship because you kind of all enter this, this training, you know, at, at the same time and it's a huge undertaking and it's something that you've never done before and it kind of, I think, forms a bond that uh, yeah, is special and I think that we certainly have that here. Hey, I'm Rachel Stein. I'm one of the PGY2s here at Memphis. Um, Memphis has been good. So I moved here during COVID time. So it's been a little weird not having everything open, but so far I've really enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Barry Schwartz. I'm a second year resident at UT. Originally from Indianapolis. Uh, my fellow PGY2s, we're kind of a eclectic bunch, uh, <laughs> come from very different backgrounds. Uh, but for some reason, it just it works. We get along super well. Hey, I'm Mustafa Motiwala. I'm a second year neurosurgery resident at the University of Tennessee, Sam's Murphy Clinic. I'm actually from Memphis. In terms of talking about my co-residents, the, the greatest strength that we, we all have and we all share um, is, a, is a willingness to, to work together. Um, more than anything, I think, you know, we, we have each other's backs. Uh, we, we all tend to get along and, and you know, um, it, it's great to have them. Hey, my name is Kara Parikh. I'm a PGY3 here at Memphis. I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, um, did a medical school in New Orleans, uh, and now I'm here in Memphis. My co-resident is Jack Willer. So if the residency is a siblinghood, your co-resident is your twin. Jack is uh, definitely kind of that center point for me, and I'm glad I met you. I'm Jack Willer, and I'm a third year. Yeah, I'm from Memphis originally, uh, went to high school here, parents still live here. Um, I stuck around Memphis because uh, not only did I love the city, it's a great place to live, but it was a fantastic residency program. Um, we're a very cohesive group. Um, you know, I'm very close to my co uh, uh, co resident my, for my own PGY year. I love both a professional and you know personal relationships, uh, a lot of good friendships. And so um, I would definitely say there's a lot of camaraderie in this program. Hi, my name is Mallory Dacus. I am a PGY4 here at University of Tennessee. I am from Memphis originally and ended up coming back here for my residency um, because I was very lucky to have a high caliber program in my own backyard. So, um, uh, Garrett Venable, PGY5 here at University of Tennessee. Um, I knew that I wanted to stay here. Uh, Mangum 
really wanted to be here also. So we sort of both, uh, kind of as a team, you know, tried to position ourselves to come here. Um, you know, we're very like-minded. Um, you know, he's a very hard worker. I couldn't ask for better things. Okay, my name is Will Mangum, and I'm a PGY-5 resident here at UT Sims Murphy. So I went to college at the Naval Academy in Maryland, and he started medical school um, after getting out of the Marines. I was in the Marines for about five and a half years uh, after college. I uh, went to Brown in Providence, Rhode Island for medical school and finished that up in 2016. Um, definitely wanted to come back to the Southeast, originally from Alabama. So as we were looking at programs uh, in the Southeast, UT Memphis really stood out. Uh, my name is Doug Taylor. I'm a PGY-7. Um, I am from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, born and raised. Uh, I <clears throat> went to medical school here in Memphis. Uh, I got to know the guys really well. And I, I knew that they produced um, what seemed to me very competent neurosurgeons. So, of all the places that I that I went and looked at, um, I felt that I fit in the best here, um, and I knew that I could get a great training. My name is Jafar Basma. I'm a PGY7 here in Memphis. I am from Lebanon. That's where I went to medical school, and uh, then I did the research on the rock. I visited this place and I loved it, and that's how I met you. If you want to become a good surgeon uh, who is technically capable and who can make good decisions, take care of the patients, this is the good place to be with the best of hard work in it. Um, at the same time, you also will have a good time. There's a lot of good people here, a lot of good friends that you're going to Comparing Memphis to other programs, I think that. Coming in as a medical, you know, as a medical student, and even as a brand new intern, you don't uh, appreciate some of the diversity that we get just in the fact that we cover so many hospitals. We have a wonderful pediatric rotation, and we get a ton of brain tumors there. We have unbelievable spine experience at the surgery center here at the, the Baptist, um, and, and of course, you know, we the, the trauma experiences is, is really unrivaled. Um, those were things that I think I, you know, I kind of heard people say, but didn't really appreciate or understand at the same time when I was first um, coming into residency that I do now. I think we're a very well-rounded program in terms of um, the types of cases that we see and the experience, uh, the operative experience that we gain. And our case volume is is remarkable, so you get the benefits of. of seeing all these different neurosurgical pathologies and getting all the case experience. You don't have to live in a super large, inconvenient, expensive city that you know, it takes you 45 minutes to, to get to work in. Um, um, it is a wide breadth of pathology. Um, you really see everything here and feel, start feeling comfortable with seeing a lot of um, you know, really sick patients. And honestly, it's just a fun place to be. You see all comers. You see uh, patients of all types, all colors, all backgrounds. Um, and it's just massive volume. It's, it's one of the benefits of being at Sims Murphy and UT is that um, you know, we have a huge cash area for one, but really, we're the only shop in town. There's no, not much competition. As opposed to some other big cities where there's multiple shops in town. So we get our pick of it. We get our pick of the cases. We get the best cases in town. I think there's uh, a lot of flexibility in the program that you may not realize early on. Um, the England experience is, is huge. It's something that I didn't really appreciate when I was, in, when I was first applying, but it's, I think it's a, a big tool of our program. And then really um, just the, the flexibility that you can do anything that you want. You know, I didn't have I didn't have a huge interest in endovascular, which is one of our strengths, but uh, something that I've picked up recently and I'm actually doing a fellowship on. So I think from here you can really donate what you want. Well, uh, I think the difficult thing at this stage of my career is that I haven't found something that I'm not interested in yet. Everything I do, I really enjoy more and more. So uh, a great thing about the program here is that uh, we have a lot of strengths in, in various different uh, subspecialties and departments. So uh, whether it's vascular or pediatrics or spine, you know, uh, whatever you're into, there's, there's probably a, a, you know, a, a faculty uh, member or, or the facilities and resources you need to, to thrive um, and, and do well in that specialty. We 
have a great relationship with our faculty. Personally, I, I'm actually in a band uh, with a couple of a couple of the the attendees. Um, it's a big band. We uh, have well at our at our height, we had 12 members. Um, we uh, basically, basically played kind of like old school, like Memphis music, um, soul and stuff. Uh, but you know, it's great. We we played at the AANS um, twice now in, in LA and in San Diego. One of the big points for me when I was kind of compiling my final rank list um, was I wanted a program that sort of had a good breadth, uh, that I felt like at the end of seven years, I was gonna be a competent general practice neurosurgeon, um, but wouldn't hinder me from kind of pursuing any fellowship or subspecialty that I wanted. I think uh, we really get a unique opportunity as uh, first years to really get involved in the operating room very early, um, which was one of the things that, that drew me to this program. See, that, that's our goal, um, you know, operate early, operate often. Um, you need repetition uh, to master any skill. And neurosurgery is a skill that you learn in the operating room. There's a lot. There's a lot to learn. That's why it's a seven-year residency. So, uh, the more repetition you can get, the better. We we truly get a great experience um, with early autonomy. I think that's probably one thing probably a lot of people are going to say. Um, the thing about Memphis is, if you want to do something, you can. Um, you know, if, if whatever your interests are, whether it's you know, vascular, spine, or functional. Uh, Needs. Um, you know, no one, no one's gonna hold you back. Um, if you want your research, you can do research. But so, if you have a lot of initiative, you can certainly, certainly do anything you want. Uh, the staff really gives a lot of leeway uh, to the residents here, a lot of freedom, but that comes with a lot of responsibility too. And you can tell the residents here are mature about that and handle that well. Uh, Having, having selfless team players is such a huge attribute and something that this residency in particular values strongly. The culture here was something that really fit my personality. Um, we have a great close relationship with the faculty uh, as our mentors. Another thing that's very important professionally, especially surgically, is autonomy. So I felt like the balance when I was looking at different programs was struck really well in Memphis. Uh, another key factor I think that is absolutely essential in residency training is mentorship. And mentorship to be really effective, honestly, I think has to be organic. Every step of the way, there's always someone that's looking out for you to mentor you. So when I was looking for a residency program, I think I knew first and foremost that um, being a good surgeon was my priority. Uh, as opposed to you know being a basic science researcher or something like that, uh, and I think this program is one of the ones that's I think uniquely suited to producing a good technical surgeon. UT Memphis really stood out in terms of um, a solid clinical experience. Um, we don't do a dedicated research year here, so it's just seven straight years of neurosurgery, and I really liked that. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. Uh... We're going to be doing a lot of research here in Memphis, uh, but throughout the years, this has been uh, kind of a surprising twist in residency. <clears throat> there's a lot of opportunities which I discovered that you can do. Uh, there's the lab, uh, there's the, the database that you can pull up and spine and premium. There's the PEDS part. So that was well beyond my expectation. The top two things I was looking for, surgical experience, uh, volume, hands-on, autonomy, the ball played out beautifully. I've been more cases than I can ask for. And then also built great relationships with some people here. Um, you know, win, win trade the family. Uh, I think the two biggest strengths that, um, may, that don't probably show up on paper necessarily uh, would be the resident camaraderie and just the strength of the uh, very clinical experience. So having a group of residents that are going through the same thing as you, where um, you could be very adversarial and, and very uh, competition kind of based, or in fact, very just uh, supportive and collegial and very much an all for one and one for all uh, type mentality. Um, I'll say one thing, you know, my co-resident certainly have made it a lot easier. Uh, I know I was supposed to be on call, the his first day of life 
um, <clears throat> you know, he's born at, it's like one in the morning. Um, and you actually took my call the, his first day of life. So, That's true. Uh, you know, a lot of support from your co-residents to get people through uh, family situations. So we can all meet Wyatt. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Ultimately, this is about um, learning to be a good, safe neurosurgeon that can treat patients well, practice safely, and take care of your family. And I think this is a place that really does that well. I don't think any doors are closed for you coming here for residency. Well, first of all, I just want to say that I'm ready to get out there. Now, from a mental standpoint, but also like very prepared, prepared to get out there in the real, real world. Uh, on many levels, the things that I saw here that uh, really stood out to me were the relationships that the residents have with one, one another, as well as with the faculty and how um, well everybody gets along. And that's really important to me. You know, seven years is a long time. It's in the prime of our lives in our 20s and 30s. So being able to get a very high caliber, caliber um, operative experience as well at, with lots of research opportunities in a setting where I can still enjoy my colleagues um, and live in a city where uh, things are affordable enough to have a good time in my select moments of downtime, uh, that's really important to me. I think we get a little bit of it all. Um, actually a lot of it all. I think that no matter what career, I think that's the great thing about training here is that no matter what path you want to take, the opportunity is here and the cases are here and the training is here to go do that and be successful. Um, Memphis is very unique in that uh, our attendings are all Sims Murphy physicians. They are a private practice group who's affiliated with UT. So we um, have a little bit of the academic world and the private practice world together. So we get a little insight into how the two different worlds um, are similar, how they're different, and we can learn uh, the, positing, the positives from both. I think you get the best of both worlds. Um, you get the bit of academic flair that, that we all want going to neurosurgery to have that experience. Um, but they also get the, the real world private practice experience. Um, you get a little bit of everything coming out of here. I think it's very important um, that uh, at some point uh, in your career as a neurosurgeon, you figure out uh, how the actual business of uh, medicine and neurosurgery in particular work. And uh, it's I think uh, the attendings here, in addition to you know getting us involved in academic pursuits and, and just training us on on being neurosurgeons, also give us a, a very good window into some of the, the various aspects of running a private practice, uh, such as billing, practice structure, um, clinic structure, patient selection. Uh, all those sorts of things that, that are uh, some of the kind of what we might call soft details that you really have to have an appreciation for when you're making the transition from um, being a resident to being a, a physician in your own practice. You know, you really see the two sides merge together and I think you can you know, make a choice for yourself what works best and what, what you want for your, your career. If you had to describe our residency program in a single word or a quick phrase, how would you describe it? Um, it's hard work, but it pays off. Teamwork. Uh, work hard and have a good time. Uh, one word, operate. Yes. Operate. You operate a lot. <laughs> All the time. I would say strong. I think, I think strong is the, is, is, is the right word for many reasons. Both uh, surgical skills, clinical, academic. Uh, uh, it's, it, it's a strong program. If I had to pick one word to describe our residency program, it would probably be family. We really are a family unit. Say probably the first one would be collegial. That's, yeah, it's probably the, honestly, from that uh, three musketeers all for one, one for all, so probably the easiest way to say that. So. Single word would be tough. Uh, short phrase, um, you know, seven years of hard work, but, you know, with people you enjoy working with. That's it. Uh, I feel like we, we work harder than anybody else I've talked to. I had friends on the trail, I had friends from med school, they talk about their residency. Um, and it, it just doesn't seem like, you know, they might they might not have the, the same rigor that we do, but uh, I feel like it, we, we earn what we get and we are well-trained because of it. How would you describe your relationship with your co-residents? I, I just connected with everybody here. I thought everybody was so easy to get along with and they all worked hard, but they all, you know, knew how to just kind of take a step back and, and enjoy their time here and have fun together. Um, 
you know, it's not like they all went their separate ways at the end of the day. It's like, you know, the, the night was just an extension of the, the fun that they had during the day. And uh, that's just continued here. I think we, we do a really good job of bringing in people that um, kind of fit the mold and, and get along with everybody. Uh, it's a really good uh, learning atmosphere um, and I feel like you could go to anyone um, for advice or help and not feel critiqued or criticized. You know, we support each other. There's no malignancy. Um, you know, the seniors have the juniors backs and um, you learn so much from your co-residents. So that was like the number one for me. Yeah. Operating from that, I see the two biggest things about the We work really hard, we guys stick together and uh, I think we do that pretty well. What's great about this program is that it's very heavy clinical, so you're, every day you're busy, you're operating, you're taking care of patients, and at the same time, the environment between the residents and the attendings uh, is very good. Everyone is uh, approachable, they get along together, they're friends, that's working on the If I had to pick one word to describe our residency program, it would probably be family. We really are a family unit. It's a, it's a group of people that you can trust, you can count on, you can rely on. When we're not in the hospital, we're always trying to meet up, do something, and be around each other more because we're just a, we're, we're family. We are each other's people.